Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to notify you that the uh, holiday scorched event is back up and live in 2020. We had this event back in 20, uh, 2019. So in this video, I'd like to provide some more information about this event, uh, including some locations where you can find these legendary scorched. So let's not waste the time and jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, once you hear this jingle sound, this means you can have one of these cockroaches right next to you. Have in mind that they wear uh, different suits, such as this one, the Santa suit. They also wear a blue suit. Uh, so basically, the easiest way to spot them is the jingle sound, right? So once you kill them, you will end up with uh, having a drop of a legendary and including a small gift or a medium gift or a large gift, whichever comes. Uh, once you open these gifts, you get different types of uh, items. Uh, that includes caps, script, uh, ammo, depending on the weapon you're wearing. Like for instance, I'm using Ultracite Plasma, uh, and I was getting the Ultracite Plasma cartridges uh, from these uh, boxes, but from the medium version and the top version, okay? Uh, besides, those who have played it back in 2019, uh, if you can replay this, and there's going to be also some new rewards uh, within this this specific event. Not a lot as far as I heard, but still, rewards are rewards, right? But essentially, we get a lot of other goodies, so have that in mind. Uh, personally, myself, I'm not going to be as grindy as I was last year, because I do have some other games that I'm playing right now as well. Now I believe I got a small one. It has a weight, by the way, weight one. So if you won't be able to keep a lot <laughs> on you. So once you open them, you get like Bourbon, junk items, and as I mentioned. Now uh, the best locations. Let me start off. Start off. I'm going to show you with my memory. So of what I remember. Uh, for the lower players, I would recommend sticking with uh, this part of the map. Well. I'm, let me start with the low player locations first, okay? So Camden Park is always a good place to go to, it's uh, always scorched. Uh, AVR Medical Center is also always scorched and you can also go inside, scorched are inside and uh, inside you can still have a, uh, one of these holiday scorched appearing. Uh, the Poseidon uh, Energy Plant is also a good way to go to. Um, what else do we have here? Do, do, do. Unfortunately, this one is filled with the Blood Eagles now. Also used to be, a, well, it's not the best. Point Pleasant used to be one of the best locations, but now we got cultists over there. So definitely, oh yeah, this is a jewel. Uh, Morgantown Airport, the Morgantown High School. Plus within the airport, you can trigger an event called a Collision Course, something like that. It spawns in five waves of Scorched and those five waves give you a chance of getting uh, a legendary. So let me actually show you how that is done. Alright so once you fast travel to Morgantown Airport this is the area where you will appear. And by the way I want to take this opportunity and also let you know that you can actually uh, craft these gifts and in order to do so you'll need to go to any tra tra traders, the vendors, go to the misc a section go high quality, low quality, and medium. Have in mind that the prices you see on the screen may differ since I have a lot of charisma and I have discounted prices. Also you can use the hard bargain uh, per card from the charisma section in order to reduce the prices. And uh, I think Morgantown will be one of my uh, must visit spots because uh, as I've mentioned this place has got a lot of different scores. Now in order to trigger the actual event uh, you'll need to go slightly another way. I'm just checking here. So in order to start the event, you will need to go this way. Then you go up, and you turn right, and you will see those three uh, barracks, sort of. And as you can see, I already found an, one more scorched, legendary, sweet. I don't want to take that. Are there any more? No jingy jing. 
Ah, there we go, Jingle Bell. <laughs> there we go. One more. Another swamp. Come on, man. So once you're done clearing that area out, hopefully you'll find some uh, holiday scores. You run in here, and it should trigger a quest. There you go. So afterwards, you'll need ini to initiate this flame launcher, and it will start to call in five waves of scorched, which actually also, by the way, just so you know, uh, workshops. In case if you are new and you don't know how they look like, this symbol right here indicates that this is a workshop. You can capture those workshops, and workshops have a chance to spawn in uh, scorched. And once again, you see we got another legendary scorched, and this time he's wearing a blue suit. So that's another type. And uh, also, I'm not quite sure if I already mentioned it, but after the One Wasteland update, that's uh, where all the uh, creatures, sort of, right, uh, they scale to your level. Maximum level they can get to even in the lower zone, because this is a lower player zone. Usually they were to be like level 5 or level 10, so I don't remember. But now the good thing for like the higher level players as well, those being playing for around, or those who has reached level 50 for instance, which is very easy to do, uh, you can still come here and get a chance to actually get yourself a good legendary drop, you know, since these th these guys are legendaries, right? And there we go, there's another spawn, there you go. Sweet, and that's a two star. Ball string? Well, ball string, two star, I don't want it. Man, I, I, to be honest, I'm so full of legendaries, so I don't think I'll be picking up a lot of things. Hey, was that a legendary guy or not? I didn't pay attention. So yeah, uh, I think you get the point, right? Five waves, let's go, and we get a lot of... Uh, you have a chance of getting a lot of these guys. And by the way, this event can be re-triggered on another server, so you can server hop and do this event again. Uh, but do have in mind that if the event has been done on that specific server, it will not launch again, as far as I know. But you can give it a try. Or if you have friends uh, with uh, private servers, right, you can create yourself a group or use our Discord to talk about w which server to jump to or create, a uh, if you're playing on Xbox, create a, an audio group and just visit each other's private servers jumping from one private server to another. And in that case, you'll be able to spawn in more of these. So as you can see, there's another one. So actually it's from pretty good location huh I mean how many did we get like five no or more there's another one you can hear them jingle jingle so there you go have your ears for the jingle where the hell is he oh, there is. so yeah and by the way once you're done with this event uh, wait for the cargo bot because he's gonna bring you a hundred pre-war money. That's a lot of clothes, and sometimes we have a challenge, a daily challenge to for it to scrap like a hundred or was it weekly? I can't recall. Uh, challenge. So have in mind for this event that you can do it, and uh, it will make your life easier. <laughs> Where's the last one? Oh, there it is. That's another. One. And last wave. Let's see if we're gonna get one more legendary or not and I'll continue with other locations but as you see as proof first time coming here I'm BAM look at all these sand is lying down <laughs> from here you can actually take your way uh, to the high school because uh, high school is also uh, kind of filled with uh, scorched so that's a good thing so the high school is right away that way because I've been playing a lot of uh, Nuclear Winter back in the day, and uh, Morgantown was is is one of my favorite maps. I know this Morgantown now pretty much off by heart. So that's the school over there. Uh, you will find some scorched uh, outside and inside. So make sure to check inside as well, as uh, inside they also spawn. Uh, well, they did. They it did work like that last year. I'm pretty sure that hasn't changed. Uh, no, I, I didn't test it inside, but I'm I'm like 99.99% uh, sure that's th that's gonna be the case. So I'm not gonna go inside this call, but let's go and uh, show more locations. So this is another good location for lower players. Then you can go with the uh, Tyler Country Fairgrounds. Also, uh, the scores appear there all the time. They can go with the water park. 
uh, scorched as well all the time over there. Uh, now we're getting to a, like sort of mid level over here scorched all the time. I mean scorched all the time, but only three of them, so you might not want to do it. Once again, point out workshops they spawn scorched, so that's your go-to. Uh, sunny tops, different sunny tops. They also have a chance to spawn in scorched. Basically, the more scorched you encounter, the higher chance of you finding the uh, the holiday scorched, right? So, uh, but these they kind of like rotate with super mutants. Uh, then let's put our marker somewhere like this and go through these types of locations. Uh, the Thunder Mountain plant is a go-to scorched. They're always there. Uh, Harper's Ferry is a good location, but Scorched are not always there. They are mixed with Super Mutants, but it's also a pretty uh, good location. Uh, Galley Valeria is a uh, Valeria Gallery. Oh my god, that, that, my tongue is broken. Also a good uh, place to go to, plus make sure to go inside because there's a lot of Scorched over there. Uh, over here we don't have, we don't have, well, Sunny Top, as I said, sometimes. Uh, spawns in Scorch, not always. Uh, then another good place to go to Ranger District Office, Scorch all the time. Uh, and of course, if you're able to take down uh, Scorch Beasts, Fisher Sites, definitely go to the Fisher Sites. Scorch Beasts also sometimes spawn in Scorch, so and once you go to the Fisher Site, you always see a pack of scor a Scorch and Scorch Beasts. And especially now with Season 3, you might want to get that additional XP. So really cool, and that's uh, pretty much it. Apart from the last location, which is Glass Caverns. Now I'd like to notify: do not comment. There's a method that I personally think it's a bug or a glitch, so I don't talk about it. Don't talk about it in the comments. The comment will get deleted. So if you want to find out of that method, you can find it elsewhere. Not on not on this channel. So. But if you go to the glass cavern, right, there is a lot of scores as well. You can run through the entire, and the end you will see a scorch beast, uh, a scorch beast to kill. And obviously, it's also uh, it, it has a location with Fisher side. So once you spawn in there, you'll have a few scorch beasts and some scorched as well. So that's pretty much it. I believe I've covered every single location in 2019. This was also a good place to go to, but unfortunately. That is no longer the case. After the DLC update, now we have the and there is other enemies spawning in, and not who we want. And I think that is it. If I've missed any locations and you feel like those should be added because they're pretty nice or good to go to, please do comment down below. And I wish you all luck in the the holiday scorch farming. <laughs> so once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys lock it at. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, feel free to join our Discord if you uh, want to communicate more about Fallout 76. Share your content, ideas, pictures, builds. We have a lot of chats for that. We are over 800 members. Plus, we have chats for other games that we play, such as Valhalla, Cyberpunk, and Diablo 3, and others. So in order to get access to those chats, you need to go to the Get a Roll, read through it apply the icons in order to get access to the things that you want to see. Uh, so if you want to see other games, click on the other, uh, other games roles and you will also have chest, uh, access to those chests as well over there. And uh, all other links are that you may find of use are also down in the video description such as the Twitch. I can't do a lot of streams as I used to before, but I do try to stream time to time. So if you want to catch me on the stream, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitch. And other links that you might find of use are there as well. So once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock in at, I'll see you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into